assalamu alaikum guys i hope you all are fine i'm fine alhamdulillah so today we are, i am going to be giving you all an uncollected exploration guide as kabam reduced the uncollected completion rewards so let's get started so the first quest we have is the warlock quest uh, this is uh, uncollected even quest 1.1 First, as you can see here is warlock so let's uh, let me take a look at the nodes so easy path has no nodes as you can see so this is very very easy so now let's check the second path which is protection shielding which is just very very straightforward just uh, hit them and then the shield will be down for five seconds and then the more hit them so it's pretty much like there is no node out there so now the third path is outlast so it just reduces our damage there is nothing that affects our champions and so and uh, that's it so after uh, completing the pass we have a mini boss which is sunspot so sunspot incinerates are enhanced by 40% and defensive ability accuracy is lowered by 80% while under the effects of incinerate this uh, defensive ability accuracy of our champions are reduced so i think that this is another straightforward fight just don't get hit and i think i used hoivas for this fight so now the boss here and the boss only has some attack and health increase obviously some enhanced armor up abilities which um, if you have an army break champion like uh, uh, Corvus or Medusa or Nihilus they can work enhanced shock abilities just dodge those sp ones enhanced power drain the same empowered immunity whenever this defender would receive a debuff they are immune to they generate 33% of a bar of power so to be honest I didn't read this one so uh, I think that you should avoid using champions such as Nick Fury, Clairvoyant at her bleed one and poison the curse, uh, curse of plague so um, I think that this is another very very straightforward note then there is explosive personality just don't hit him six times on his block uh, or take, bring an armor uh, bring an armor break champion so that you don't get that damage I sometimes got that damage uh, reflected while exploring so you know it's still good so now here we are at uh, quest number two of chapter one of this uncollected event quest so here this is an easy path no need of explanation but let's just take a look at the counters symbiote spider-man then sasquatch um, a bit of a trouble i think it was a bit of a trouble for me going because he has double mediums on one medium you know double in uh, double hits on one medium phoenix straight forward so all so against the mega all you gotta do is just bring a robot champion or bring someone like warlock and they still work okay so now let's go on the noted paths so let's take a look at the fix it node okay so he has pilfer regeneration any buff activated by the attacker has a 20% chance to be preferred so uh, nullifying the buff i think the attacker gains like some power let's just take a look at it again a person of 20% power over two seconds so what i did was that i took corvus out of my team because he's a bit more buff dependent on cruelty dependent i uh, used champions like i used clairvoyant i think quick and uh, get my infinity was so this was a bit of a trouble for me but it's uh, it's not that much big of a deal and okay just a reminder just a notice I should, just a notice that uh, you might require some units I would say especially if you are an average player like me then you would require like units I like used 500 units and I think without energy refills I used 400 units I don't know but I think I used somewhere near and I already had some device so let's just say that I use 650 units so now let's take a look at this juggernaut path okay shifting immunity which is not such a big of a problem just don't take clear buoyant or something like that and I think that it doesn't do anything um, yeah it just purifies, uh, pur purifies any corresponding effects or something like those Okay, so now this is my favorite path, life transfer. I used Quick here anyway. I know people say that Quick is uh, very, very against life transfer or something like that. But what I did was I Quick first fight, then second fight I heal. Third fight Quick, uh, third fight Quick, fifth fight heal. Sixth Quick, seventh heal. And I think I used Quick for most of this life transfer path. So now let's get to the uh, third quest. 
so now moving on to the third quest of this incorrectly given quest also known as 2.1 so uh, let's take a look at the parts so it has five parts the first one had three second one had four this one has five so now the first uh, uh, the first is a part uh, the first is this part uh, which leads to this uh, iron fist immortal iron fist part so now taking uh, a look at a node they are powerful from a far node so whenever you are far from the defender they gain power over time which uh, is against quake but i think i still use quake i don't know why I, and then uh, this is not a mini boss uh, this is just what kabam trained before it was local nodes now it's just you know linked nodes uh, through a, an attack defender so first i thought that it's very very good because the, uh, uh, the final fight on the path won't be affected by the node, but when I saw it, it is affected. Wait, it is affected somewhere here. Yeah, see, target two, it is himself. So they are affecting themselves. When you take out them, then they won't uh, stop. Then they will stop affecting themselves. So <laughs> it's pretty much of a joke. I think they just should have put local nodes. So now let's take a look at the boss. Uh, attack in health. Pilfer regeneration again. Pilfer which is 15% preferred okay it is a 15% chance then after then there is notify countdown okay one the defender will notify seven deep uh, seven buffs they gain a power buff power gain buff granting 50% of max power over 10 seconds so i think that's not that much big of a pain uh, unless you have someone like catamac infinity or you're fine or quick Foot lose. Okay. After activating a special attack, the defender becomes unblockable, uh, unstoppable, and has a 25% chance to evade incoming attack for seven seconds. So now this is a big pain in the ass, man. Big pain. Uh, so I would say that you should just take someone like Quake in this fight. Quake is highly recommended for this boss fight. I think that this is just a bit trouble this fight. So yeah, it is. So easy path doesn't have anything so hard. So now let's go on for our second path, which is this path. Okay, storm path. Okay, let's see. Clear's extinction protocol, the inevitable extinction protocol, uh, grants the defender up to plus two hundred percent attack based on how full the attacker's power bar is. Each time the defender activates a special attack, their combat power rate is increases uh, increases by. 15% for the remainder of the fight. Uh, sorry for some bad English, uh, but uh, so I think it's just not that much pain in the ass. Like they only receive 200% plus attack. So that's it. I don't think it's that much pain in the ass. And yes, for Quake, I would recommend using someone like Megaret. Quake can also work here. Quake can just match down, but still, I think that. Someone else like because not everyone has quake, you know. Okay, so now let's go on for our third path. Uh, this is just the uh, easy path, which there is nothing too hard except I'm a frost, just take an armor break champion against her. Fourth path, okay. So fourth path is probably the most troublesome path after uh, that. Which path was that? I think it was a no, I think we are going to discuss it later on. So, yes, this path was pretty hard for me. Like, for me, because I am used to blocking special attacks, what happens is that all special attacks are unblockable. So, you take someone like Red Guardian who can block special attacks. But, um, I got really, my course got smashed by the Cyclops because I couldn't deck his SP1. Then, I think that I used someone else. Uh, but, I didn't just quit the quest. I then just did whatever I could and this Black Panther Civil War fight would have been much much easier with uh, Corvus Glaive if you know because uh, just a fun fact that Corvus is immune to reflection I, I should say when parrying because his parry uh, inflicts armor break uh, breaking the opponent's current armor and non-existent armor so if he has two, three armor up buffs, then you will have four armor up buffs, uh, four armor break debuff. He will after the parry. So another straightforward fight. So now let's go for the fifth one. 
and oh sorry just a fun fact that most of these all are pretty easy to dodge special attacks uh, except sweeper 2 sp2 because i am not very used to dodging sp special attacks i am just do um, very very used to blocking special attacks but you know it's fine so i would say that just take some just practice against these people if you want to uh, don't want to use your units so now the last path we have is mr sinister path backup recovery when brought below 50% health the defender gains a buzz of 30% power if a reduction to ability accuracy prevents this the defender instead recovers 25% max health so backup recovery i really really hate that node and i think that this is another one of those hard paths but uh, if you just uh, take someone good enough uh, like uh, who is in good power control and does not reduce the ability accuracy of the opponent it will be fine and just in all honesty i didn't find this path too hard but i find this node very very hard because i once fought it with it in equations and i got smashed so you know um for mr sinister i use warlock for gambit i use covers just to get his first mission done so that i can let him smash uh, killmonger with covers because of armor breaks so again killmonger i would say that just take someone like armor breaking champion who can break uh, their armor so now talking about the thing i used corvus and i just attacked this block to come to 20 stacks dodge try to dodge this sp2 and he just smashed us with but he missed that first hit, sorry he missed that first hit so you know it's a bit more like it and the quick fight i pretty much find quick hard to fight but still i think that she is not very very hard to fight i just make her hard to fight i used quick and this quick so what i know so ironic uh, so now the third quest is done and this was the third one or the fourth one yeah this was the third one sorry i forgot so now let's go to the fourth quest so yes now we are here at the fourth quest and the fourth quest uh, wasn't a lot of trouble i know it was it i think it was a lot of trouble against professor x uh, i wasn't so good at fighting him uh, the first one went pretty well second one went pretty well but the third fourth fifth one just sucked um, and yeah that sucked that's all this quest has five paths one easy four noted paths so here here we have so let's just start from karnak for karnak so karnak is very very easy to feel but it's mighty charge one while performing a medium attack that fender is immunity debuff so i think that it's pretty much um, like you can parry his uh, medium attack or dash attack and then the, on the second path we have breakthrough which is a very very easy node and it's like more like taken as a bonus so uh, except while you are fighting with corvus because we got it very much like there are no nodes at the opponent so you know it happens so okay so now on this is turtling this is another very very easy one so now we are going to go to falcon let's take the falcon so it is dulled and spiked armor which was a big mistake that i did i took covers in this path and <gasps> i was just like pretty much down there i had to switch path to this node which is very very easy to counter turtling no turtling path and then we had to take down then i had to take down yondu so it is very very amazing on why i i just didn't read the note like i was like okay this was there is like a block of which is one 80 percent block which is reduction one node i thought that was that note so i took it pretty much lightly so now let's talk about professor x Ooh, so okay so he has 40 percent physical resistance force of will that finds immunity ability accuracy reduction passives and debuffs energy attacks inflict 40 percent more damage Professor X becomes more aggressive while the attacker is mind controlled. Professor X gains plus one additional challenging charges, a uh, charge for per uh, each per second for each power of power the attacker has. So Professor X fight is like you know uh, he has a, a falter cooldown going on when you go with uh, when you go in the fight. Like it's ten. Sometimes when I fought it's ten. 
so while well, it's i think 20 when you get farted so when the cooldown finishes then he will fart you so just hit one basic and then dash back and then wait just a little uh until for the farter to finish and then just go straight forward to attack him and you need to learn to how to dodge sp1 and sp2 which is what i'm not a pro at that's why it took me 500 units so now i think that this quest is done easy path is a bit of a problem i think with that night crawler but i think i use someone like nick fury i think i use yes yes i use nick fury and i took him to his second life accidentally then forgot that night slasher is incinerated immune so use sunspot and but it was still not that much big of a deal then agent venom fight i think that i just used corvus here these next four fights i used corvus so it was very very easy now let's go to our fifth quest of chapter uh, fifth quest of this uncollected event quest okay so now we're back and uh, in this second quest uh, all you need to do is uh, just stay quick because the final fight is very very tricky literally very very tricky uh, because instead of dodging when the when magic activates her special attack just uh, dash forward so that because there are inverted special controls and then there's buffet which is another big problem which is a 5% buffet okay so then electric fluctuations is not that much a problem it is just our buff duration decreased um, so I think that magic boss is very very buffed up and very very stacked and all her special attacks are unblockable so don't think of blocking those because then you're gonna just get attacked unless you have red guardian just do it so I think that the MVP for this quest was quick and for this boss fight was quick so all you gotta have is quick, quick. to be honest um, just a little notice this time it's a notice that uh, Corvus and Quick both are made for this uncollected event quest so and event quests like these so I think that if you don't have one or two either two of these either one of those then you are gonna suffer a bit just a bit, just a bit, not that much. So now let's talk about the notes. Okay. Then now again, morning star transducer, which is not a very very big problem in this path. So transducer is on morning star to rhino, then on punisher to Sajud spidey. So I used for the first fight omega red because you know he gets that field and he's the best counter for morning star ever available. Okay guys, so now we are back. Uh, I am very very sorry for that inconvenience. I don't know what the hell happened with the game. Like it was literally saying server connection issues, but there was no server connection. There were no server connection issues, but it happened all the time, so it's just normal. So now let's talk about more easy parts. So now this is power rent. If uh, different special attacks gain up to 100% power, up to 100% power, so it's not that much big of a deal. So I think that. There's nothing that you need so complex, so let's go. On the Black Panther node, you need Metador. Okay, Metador is a very, very easy node to counter, and actually, you get more quickly quell power if you are better rebating. So, what I did was that I put the opponent to uh, SP1, I think most of the opponents, and then just uh, baited them out and then went to my high damaging special. By high damaging special, I mean like, for example, I have Corvus, then I'm gonna use his SP2, obviously, and if I have someone like sunspot then i will use it sp2 so it and also with nick fury sp2 so it's a lot of sp2s but it's pretty worth it and it's a bit more like non-loaded path so now this is very very easy to counter i should say so now moving on to the harder paths most harder paths that i found were harder all special attacks are unblockable this is a uh, very very like that node it says both but it's definitely all like special 3 is obviously unblockable so then you just gotta dodge those sp's out i think that the biggest problem in this one is taskmaster one but i did one i did was that i pushed him to his sp2 and we went good and then there's another not easy not hard node power shield so this node is very very a bit you can say what is that word 
Please, you can see it's a bit um, troubling note, just a bit troubling note. Um, but I think that it's still gonna work good. Uh, it still work very very well. So I think that this quest is done. So now let's go forward to the last quest. So now we are uh, back and at the final quest, in the final quest there are 7 paths, 3 uh, straight and then 2 for each portal. So now let's first look, take a look at the easy node and yes there, uh, there is a my mini boss, what do you say mini boss, mini boss here and uh, it is very very easy to counter, to counter very very easy mini boss I would say. This uncorrect even quest mini bosses and bosses are very very easy. But the, the nodes are very very hard, and, uh, not very hard, but just a bit hard. But it's still hard, so it is pretty much even. No, so we're gonna talk about the boss very very later on. So now let's talk about vision. Okay, vision, uh, vision path is, has feast of power node, which is a very very um, easy node as well as hard. <laughs> uh, as well as hard, I'm confusing you all. Uh, as well as hard, uh, because when the attacker reach one bar of power, they get a free debuff. Mm. So, I uh, what I was doing was that I was using Corvus and uh, I got hit only once, and that damage was literally insane. That feats of power damage was insane. So, you know that did happen, and then that's it. So I don't know what is the potential of their Fiery buffs or like how strong are their Fiery buffs but I think it's still good enough. So now here we have Sweda path also known as Miss Pavel Kamala Khan path only known as I mean only known as Kamala Khan path. So this path has Ragnarok and Enhanced Fury so this path is another very very simple one. So now let's go on for this path. So this path, these two paths are did at last. Okay, so this is another very very easy path. Um, I used Warlock against the Mega Red again uh, because it was very very easy. Archangel, very very simple boss. Mm, those the nodes are always the same as the mini boss, so you know no worries about that. And then then this Annihilus will be a bit of a trouble. I use Clear Voyant here and destroyed him easily. So I think that this was the last path that I did, Megaret path. No, I think that it was the uh, I believe it was the last path. So okay, so now let's talk about the Guardian path. Stung once twice shy, which is not a big of a trouble. All you gotta do is just not use special attacks because if when you get one bar of power, then you will be uh, power stinged, which means if you use your power, then you will take some damage. I now I don't know how much damage that will be. I think that it's proportional to attackers' health pool. Uh, sorry, attack, uh, attack points or attack pool, whatever you want to say, it still works. So, mm, to be honest, this path was the most um, troublesome path and completion as well because I got three knockouts from Hela. <laughs> Man, I don't know what was happening to me, but something was, and I, I just, I, my literally all champions got KO'd before even reaching the boss. Then I just went Corvus and then go, went straight for the Apocalypse and that was it. So now let's talk about these two paths which are not trouble, Groot paths, we should say Groot paths, yeah. Okay, King Groot path, there is Power Snack which is another troublesome uh, node because uh, whenever you activate Dexterity uh, then your precision will be activated which would be immediately nullified and they will get 25% of a bar of power. So. I think that all you gotta do is not trigger dexterity. So, but it was mm, trouble for me because I trigger a lot of dexterity while baiting. So, yeah, that's that, and that's that. Okay. So now, good path, which is easier path as compared to the other path, which is out covered. Just region, they just regenerate like 25% health over six seconds, which is means 4.25% health per second. So it's still you know good enough, but I think that this was another good path that I completed easily. So now let's talk about the boss. Oh. Wait, let's just take a look at some very good some, some defenders. Oh yes, this Terex I used clairvoyant and failed very very badly. 
then what I did was that I used random champions um, so I think that this will be a bit of a trouble so I think that all you gotta do is just don't attack him while his proc field is active and if you're cornered then RIP okay so we have Thor here as well so now let's talk about Apocalypse and I'm being as loud as possible okay so let's just calm ourselves down so this is the most easiest boss in this whole even quest in the last two chapters basically because of his high health pool which is I think 149,000 or 189,000 it's something like that but I think that the easier thing is that this fourth side is active which gave my Corvus a cool advantage a very very cool advantage uh, I was like hitting 10k mediums all you gotta do is just intercept a dash attack and then you have it a 200% passive fury for lasting for 5 seconds and if you do it again then that is just refresh so it doesn't stack but it still is good enough man it does a lot of damage blood in the water while the attacker is suffering from a debuff the defender gains a passive fury granting plus one plus 150% attack rating lasting until all debuffs on the attack expire so now this is gonna be a big trouble for those who use suicide mastery well i don't use suicide mastery i'm first thing we getting suicide mastery but now i think that i now i won't get them so if you are using suicide mastery just disable them okay finish them the next note is finish them while the attacker is suffering from a damage over time deeper the defender is more likely to activate special attacks that is I would say a bit weird thingy but it's still you know good enough um, his bleeds are enhanced wait, wait shoot speed ah oh, yeah I didn't watch his deep dive so now talking about apocalypse overall now this is a very very important path at, at 3 plus genetic code he is turned immune uh, so at um, 4 plus genetic code I really forgot what it is but it, but I think that he's mainly stun immune because he's on the final boss node. So all you gotta do is not to use parries. Just intercept him. Work with your intercept. Work with your intercepts and try to sharp them as much as possible. So now that's that. So yes, this is it for this guide. Uh, thank you guys if you watched and uh, leave a comment if you are confused. Thank you guys for watching this video. Khuda office.